Our theater is called Kumukahua, and in Hawaiian that means original stage or original platform. And our mission is actually to do plays about Hawaii, for, by, and about Hawaii. Can you tell me how you got involved with the theater group? You know, that's kind of funny. I, I was in graduate school in, uh, at Northwestern, and I came home, and I knew I wanted to do something here. I, I mean, I really, really wanted to come home and do work. So I uh, came and I hooked up with this theater. And uh, I actually directed the first play in this space. So I was quite excited to do that. Also, we can wrap it around his waist before strutting off to visit with his friends. They will pull the leaves into fine mats and carry them to the far away sea to wash and dry them in the sun to make his bed thicker and more comfortable. From morning till night, they worked hard because they were afraid of his anger. Boys, where are you? We're at the post office from 1870, which is now the home of Kumakura Theater. We're in a wonderfully historic building. This is the first poured concrete and rebar building in the United States. This gives uh, the local writers a chance to see their plays being staged. And it also gives a lot of the local actors and actresses, even if they're first time, a chance to perform. I am Makali Kuokavaya. I own the uplands and the lowlands. I have lands toward the mountains and toward the sea. I am the ruling chief of Kona and Su. I'll be the ruler of all of Kauai. The reason I think it's important that Kumukuhua stages the plays that it does is because it actually contributes something directly, not only to the culture of Hawaii, continually reminding us what the stories of this place are, and not just the old stories, the stories of what's happening every day. We do contemporary plays as well. On top of that, it's a place that actually encourages and allows a whole bunch of artists to work who might not get opportunities. Do you feel that the Hawaiian culture itself is slipping away in today's times? You know, that, that happens everywhere you go, and some of it is true here, but I think a lot of people are really trying to hold on to it and, you know, find uh, new ways to hold on to the language. And this is one way. I mean, the man who wrote these stories um, learned some of them as a child. Um, people told them to him, and he remembered them. And then he realized that his grandchildren weren't hearing these stories anymore, so he wrote them down and published them. And I was lucky enough to uh, get this a book in Xerox form before it was actually published. So the first time I did this show, which was several years ago, um, we actually opened on the day the book came out. So that was exciting as well. And then um, it's really nice to have these stories being spoken again, being told again. So. If more people got involved with the Kuma Kahua Theater, what would you do? Uh, probably expand the educational program. Uh, we put more money into uh, endowments for playwrights, trying to give playwrights more support so they can write stuff that we can then put on. Um, that's one of the major areas we've directed our money toward. The other one is just, you know, renovation, getting the space in better shape. What makes Hawaii a magical place? Oh, that's a really good question. I think it's a whole spirit of the people who live here, the, and it starts with the indigenous people, the, the people who came, you know, a thousand years ago um, to this island and have native Hawaiian blood, but it also includes all the people who have come since then and have found that this home speaks to them. Um, it's the geography of the place. Uh, I was in a place on the mainland where they said, oh, look at how blue the sky is. And I went, no, <laughs> you don't understand. I live in the middle of the Pacific and we know what the sky looks like. Why is it important to be selfless in today's world? You know, when people think of me as selfless, I, I really don't think so. I'm really selfish. You know, it's this kind of work fulfills me. And uh, when I see what I can give, it, it just fills me up. And, you know, there's the word aloha, and the, the kumu, or the teacher, says uh, the only meaning of aloha, you know, a lot of people think that means goodbye or hello. He said the only meaning of aloha is love. And uh, you know, when we give that, we get it back many times over. So, my name is Maria Takamori Prickett. I'm uh, Craig House. Aloha. My name is uh, John Watt. I'm the director of this play. Uh, it's called Pele Ma, and we're playing here at Kumukuhua Theater. At the darkest part of morning, before the first light of dawn appears, Kaila said to Lohi'o, "It is time for me to leave. I must go back to Puna, land of the sunrise." I will go with you. No, you must remain here. I will go home and prepare a place for us to live.
gonna blow, so I'm gonna go down on the road again. Starting where the mountains left me, I left where I began. Where I will go, the wind only knows, till the time's around the bend. I get in my car, going too far, never coming back again. Singing why Manalo blue, singing why Manalo blue, singing why Manalo.